Christmas, everyone. Tonight, we're gonna head down to the Marsh Walk and check out the Christmas and holiday display that they have. Yeah, supposedly they decorated the entire board, boardwalk area, so I'm curious to see what it looks like. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's get down there. So the Marsh Walk is pretty empty tonight. It's a Monday night, but on the weekends, this place is packed, even off season during the winter time, and especially around Christmas. But uh, we're just gonna walk around and enjoy the lights. And holiday lights were everywhere. And finally, at the end of the boardwalk that goes down to the marsh, there's another Christmas tree. And from that boardwalk, if you look back, you get a great view of the marsh walk. And the tree at the end was clearly a fan favorite. With multiple people stopping to take their photo by the tree. That was a lot of fun. It really was. But I wonder how they do Christmas down in Savannah. There's only one way to find out. Road trip! Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. We stayed at the beautiful Kehoe House, and after checking in, we headed down to the riverfront to check out Savannah's Christmas Market. So if you're in Savannah during the month of December, check out the uh, Christmas Market right on the riverfront, open Thursdays through Sundays during the month of December. <laughs> It's a big event here, even the local news will cover it. Take a look. Although there were less Christmas decorations around Savannah than we would have expected, we took a walk around town and this is what we found. Savannah was a lot of fun, and we loved staying at the Keo House. It really was, and in the near future, we're going to do a dedicated video about the Keho House. And sometimes there's no place like home. That's right, and we're going to go down and check out the decorations in Myrtle Beach. We're in downtown Myrtle Beach. We're here for the second annual Winter Wonderland celebration. 
Now, last year they set up the lights uh, in the center old pavilion area, big open lot, but they charged people to see the lights. Well, this year, supposedly they put the lights all along the boardwalk and it's free of charge to take a look. But they also have some family things to do on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. So uh, we're gonna walk and when it gets dark and see what the lights are all about. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Sue doesn't like coming down here. While waiting for nightfall, we enjoyed the changing colors of the sky. All right, night is falling and the lights are coming on. As you can see, the boardwalk was empty, which made Sue uneasy. So we never made it to the end, and we headed home. So that was a nice display, but Sue didn't like it because it was too desolate. There weren't any people around, right? Right. Your radar went up, like, uh-oh, this isn't a place I should be. But um, I'd say if, it's, if there were more people down here, I'd recommend coming down and taking a look, right? Right. Now, one place that had a lot more people than the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk were Surfside Beach's annual holiday Christmas parade. Now, just by chance, we came across Surfside Beach's holiday Christmas parade. Multiple floats came by throwing candy to the crowd. Young and old had fun running for the candy. There were also several golf carts decorated for the holidays. There were even tractor trailers and utility trucks joining in on the fun. Not to mention some classic old cars. And of course, no parade would be complete without a marching band. And one of our highlights was seeing the local Channel 15 ABC weather crew. Uh, Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We like yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! And the tall gentleman with the colorful suit—that's the head meteorologist Ed Piotrowski, known by the catchphrase "That's what Ed said." We hope that everyone has a great holiday season. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Until next time, safe travels.